Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a nice geometry math problem. That is here we have given a circle and there is a scaling triangle inside the circle whose three different side length is given. Our target is to find out the radius of this circle. Now how can we solve this math problem? First of all, let us suppose this is our triangle. This is triangle A, B, C. And this is center O. Now first of all here we will draw a perpendicular from point A to this side BC. So this figure will become. Now let us suppose this is point D. Now here this total length is 40 units. So let us suppose this length is X units. So what will be this length? This will be 14 minus X units. Now let us suppose this is the height of the triangle. Now here we have two right angle triangles. Triangle ABD and triangle ADC. So first of all here we will try to find out the value of x and h. Then we will try to find out the radius of this circle. So to find out the value of x and h here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem in both the right angle triangles. Triangle ABD and triangle ADC. So using the Pythagoras theorem here in this triangle, triangle ABD, Pythagoras theorem states that high hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So this figure will become so by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So here our hypotenuse is 30, base is x and perpendicular is h. So this will become hypotenuse is 13. So this is 13 square is equal to base is x. So this will become x square plus hypotenuse h. So this is h square. Now here we will take this x square to the left hand side. So h square will become, this will become, what is 13 square? 13 square is simply 169 minus x square. Now let us suppose this is our equation number first. Now come to the right angle triangle number second, triangle ADC. Now here in this triangle, our hypotenuse is 15 units, height is h and base is 14 minus x. So this will become using the Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse is 15 square is equal to base square that is 14 minus x whole square plus perpendicular square that is h square again we will take this number this expression to the left hand side so h square will become h square is equal to 15 square is simply 225 minus this expression this is 14 minus x whole square. Let us suppose this is our equation number second. Look at two equation number first and second. Both equation has the same left hand side. So I will compare the right hand side. So this will become simplice. This will become 169 minus x square is equal to this is 225 minus this expression but here we will expand this expression using a minus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times a b so this will become this will become 14 square so 14 square is about 196 plus x square minus 2 times 14 x which is 28 x let us multiply this negative side inside the parenthesis so this will become 169 minus x square is equal to 225 this will become negative 196 negative x square and this will become positive 28x so there is negative x square in both sides of this equation so we can cancel them with each other by adding positive x square so this will become 169 so it become 225 minus 196 it is about 29 plus 28x and here we will take this 29 to the left hand side so the value of 20x will become 28x will become 169 minus 29 is it about 140 now we will divide both sides by 28 So this 28 and this 28 will be cancelled and 28 times 1 is 28, 28 times 5 is about 140. So the value of x will become 5. Now we substitute this value of x in any equation, equation number first or second to find out the value of h. 
So let's substitute the value of x in equation number first. So this equation number first will become equation number first implies that is h square is equal to 169 minus x square. So let's substitute x is equal to 5. So this will become 169 minus 5 square is 25. Now next the h value of h square will become 169 minus 25. It is about 140. Four. Now we will take square root on both sides. So here the value of h will become h is equal to square root of 144 is simply 12. So the value of h here is 12. So here in this figure the value of x, this line segment is this is 5 units and this height is 12 units. Now what we will do next? Next here we will draw a chord on this circle from point A. So this figure will become, now let's suppose this is point E. Here we will join this point E with point C. So this will become a triangle. Now to get to this one triangle, triangle ABD here, the angle at point D, this is a right angle, 90 degree angle. Now what do you think about this one triangle, triangle ACE, as this is a right angle triangle or not. So here we will use a Thales theorem. Thales theorem states that if we have any triangle inside the circle, such that one side of the triangle is the diameter of the circle, then that triangle will must be a right angle triangle. So here this is a right angle triangle where this angle is a 90 degree right angle. Now look to this one triangle triangle ABD. If we extend this side of this tri triangle, so this will become ABC. Now look to this one triangle, triangle ABC and triangle AEC. These two triangles have the same common external arc. And we know that angle subtended by the same arc are always equal. So here this angle and this angle are subtended by this same arc. So these two angles must be equal. So let us suppose this is angle alpha. So this will be also angle alpha. Now look to these two triangles. Here, these two angles are same. So the third angle will be also same. Now, if two triangles have the same corresponding angles, then the triangle must be similar. So here, these triangles, triangle ABD and triangle AEC, these are similar triangles. And we also know that in similar triangles, the ratio among the same sides are always proportional. So here, we will take the ratio among the hypotenuse and perpendicular of these triangles. So this figure will become here the hypotenuse of this triangle is AE where perpendicular is AC and this triangle hypotenuse is AB and perpendicular is AD. So let us take the ratio among these sides so this figure will become this will become AC divided by sorry AE divided by AC is equal to AB divided by AD. So substitute these values. Here the value of A is not given. So we will write this is the same. And here the value of AC is 15. So this will become 15 is equal to AB is about 13 units. So this is 13 and AD is 12 units. Let's cross multiply these numbers. So this will become 12 times AE is equal to 15 times 13. We will divide both sides by 12. So this will become here this 12 and this 12 will be cancelled. So the value of AE will become which is also the diameter of the given circle. So this will become but applying these two numbers and dividing the product by 12 it gives him about 16.25. Now this is the diameter of this circle. Now to find out the radius of the circle here we will divide this by 2. We know that radius of any circle is half of the diameter. So therefore this radius will become 16.25 divided by 2. Now it gives him about 8.125 which is our final radius. So finally the radius of this given circle which is AO or this one it is about 8.125 units which is our final answer and final target and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting 
and step by step you may see my problems. Thanks for watching.